hope that wasn't too noisy. Um, 80 meters the entire time. <laughs> it started started real slow and uh, I think everybody kind of stuck with 40 for a little bit. I just didn't want to see the band conditions are pretty well they're not bad now actually but earlier they were <laughs> pretty, pretty rough. I know Belle. My dog hates it when I'm down here. She has to sit at my feet. But uh, that, that was fun, just running 80 only and pouncing a lot. Some some of these guys will not move. I mean, they will not move to search and pounce whatsoever. And I think sometimes that's a bit of a, a mistake when trying to get numbers. But they may have been doing SO2R or something, you know. And then my spots wouldn't load. It, my spots haven't been loading on 80 for a while um, through uh, VE7CC. I, like I can see people spotted up here in the cluster, but not on the uh, the band map here, or whatever. So um, I think there was a dupe or two. I almost duped somebody. That was kind of embarrassing, but that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> But uh, I got all the regulars, and I put up a, a dipole, and it's probably like 23 feet, 24 feet, maybe at the tallest. But I can actually run, you know, 700 watts into it without it freaking out and overheating and stuff like that, like the uh, NFED Half Wave does. And then my bazooka, it, I think I melted it. Uh, running 500 watts into it during MST so I took it down and I just made just good old solder and uh, 14 gauge wire and, and made a dipole for 80 just to get through the winter months and then I'll kind of take it back down again because as we go into spring and summer everybody shifts back to 40 will be the late band and uh, 20 will be open during 0300 I worked about 10 or 12 minutes earlier today at the 1900 CWT and the band was phenomenal. I mean, 15 was quiet, 20 quiet, no noise, all signals, <laughs> very different from nighttime, like 0300, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to, to get in here and play with these guys. I mean, there's a few new calls today that I recognize, so... I guess I need to play through the day a little more. I think that's where all the, the big timers, you know, you can get some big scores during the, the daytime. At nighttime, there's some big scores too, but like for us little people with little antennas, you know, we're gonna kind of struggle to get 100. <laughs> but I uh, hope everybody had a happy new year and hope this, this year goes uh, better than last, hopefully. 103 and 103 so no dupes or or I'm sorry no uh, not I didn't have to worry about working different people so that's 103 different people that I worked on 80 but I probably should have spent about five or ten minutes on 40 um, if I had to do that over again I'll probably do that maybe five minutes just chasing multipliers and then jump to 80 and start running I wish I had something for 160 because I think um, there's a few people that dabble up there, like uh, K4IU. I saw he was up there and I was trying to see how this dipole did and if I can bring this over. There we go. So at 24 feet, I mean, that's. I don't know how well I was into these, into Europe. 8 dB there, 8 dB there, so I'm not, I probably could have been heard and that may have been who I was hearing in my noise floor, I just couldn't pull them out and I had uh, 12 dB of attenua attenuation going on there for a while but I just couldn't pull some of these stations out, yeah 7 dB into Hotel Alpha 6, 11 into, 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 uh, Great Britain for so it's I think what it's doing is just reflecting 
it's using the delta loop on 40 meters as a reflector and it's um, shooting broadside to Europe a little bit I guess but I don't know maybe it's just that time of year when you get DX on on 80 if you have a good receive antenna but I'll move this out of the way and catch you guys a little bit later on thanks